hello guys welcome to this channel in this video i will show you how i create straps fabric material okay let's start it press shift a mask at a cube go to the top view tap to the edit mode press s to scale it without the y axis by pressing shift y just like this press ctrl r put a look at here press gz move it up a little bit Add a subdivision modifier, make it level 2, put a loop at here, and down here also, just like this. Actually, we don't need down here, just delete the face. Then press A to select everything, Shift D to duplicate it, move it somewhere around here. Yep, just like this. Then Go to the object mode, let's see it smooth, add a modifier, array modifier, put it here, and increase the count, add a modifier again, array again, put it here, x factor here, make it zero first, then y here, adjust it, something like this, increase the count, mine here, I'm using 10 times 10, shift duplicate it, and let's back up this one. Let's apply this array modifier, then right click, set origin to geometry, press Alt G to reset the location, press Shift A, mess at the plan, S to scale it, adjust it, something like this. Then, let's put our plan up here, go to the shading tab, select your plan, new material, press Shift A, search for image texture, put it here, create, select here, new image texture, name it fabric normal, new image, then go to the render property, change EV to cycle, Make sample here, change it to 1. Go to the bake here. Bake type, change it to normal. Select active. Select this object first, then your plan. Make sure you select this image texture node. Then select bake. Now we have something like this, then you can click here, image, then save as, save your image. If you are only wanted to know how I create this material, you can just end now, but we can go. But I, but I will continue to modeling, go to the layout, let's hide this first. I will continue to modeling this one. Let's just screenshot this part. Okay. Back to our blender. Press Shift A. Mess. Add a plan. Press less. So we can focus only to our plan here. Go to the top view. Press Shift A. Image reference. Add your image reference. Alt Z, X ray view. Rotate it, as to scale it, yep something like this, let's bring this down and opacity 2.5, select your plane, tap to edit mode, alt z, press ctrl r, put loop right here, then press a to select everything, Press I to insert, insert like this, okay, then we can adjust over here, press G twice to slide, put it here, you can press Ctrl R, put a loop cut here, 
and adjust it just follow your image reference SY0 G twice just like this select all of this press X delete the face then we don't need this one X dissolve edge press A to select everything press E to extrude just like this we can add a subdivision modifier then bevel modifier put it here then press 2 change it to the edge mode we can go to the select sharp edge we need to deselect this one over here We need to reselect all of this. Yep. Then main bevel work here, change it to 1. Then change angle to wake. Then we can change here amount to 0 0.003. Then we can put control R here. Control B, bevel it. Do the same over here. Control B, bevel. And that's it, I guess. Okay. We need to fix over here. It have a Sony logo here. Let's move the shading tab. New material. But first we need to unwrap this one. Select all of this edge. Okay. Press U. Mark Sim. Then select everything you unwrap. Select your principal BSDF. Press Ctrl T. It will automatically add image texture, mapping node, and texture coordinate. But if you can do this, just go to the edit, preference, at the add-ons here. Just type node. Enable this node wrangle. Save your preference. Then open image texture, found your logo, you can use any logo, change repeat to clip. Make sure you change over here to UV editor. Press A to select everything. Press U, one grab, go to the top view. Press U, project from view. Just like this. Adjust your image texture here. Then let's move this three knot over here shift a search for bum knot put it here normal to high click invert we can press shift a search for color ram put it here then adjust it okay next back to layout here let's add the strap Let's rotate it 90 degree. Press if A, mess, add a plan or cube. Tap to the edit mode. Press 1 to change it to vertices mode. Press M, merge them at center. Now we have one single node here. Alt Z. Let's put it here. I guess we don't need this image reference for now. Let's hide this. Okay. Let's put it here. Look at my position here. Then press E to extrude. Extrude it like this.
see that this vertex is extruded down here. And just like this, I guess. Press A to select everything. Go to the top view, press GY. Put it here. Press E to extrude on the Y axis. Just like this. Then add a modifier, solidify. Let's increase the thickness. Yeah, something like this, I guess. Add a subdivision modifier. Make it level 2, press Ctrl R, put a loop cut here, press 2, change it to the edge mode, Ctrl B, bevel it. Just like this, let's increase the thickness. Okay, I guess that's enough. Right click, shade smooth. Now let's back to the shading tab. Select your strap here, new material. And it's trapped. Press Ctrl T, image texture, open image texture, and found your fabric map. Tap to red mode, press A, U, and wrap. Just like this. Then we can press scale it. Let's move this, search for normal map, put it here, and connect normal to normal, disconnect this one, and change the color to any color you want, I'm using black here, then I'm gonna turn down the roundness, just like this. And that's it for now. Thank you for watching and see you on my next video. Thank you.